Hey, good evening, everyone. Welcome to our triumphant return to Yakuza Kiwami 2. Uh, we have a, quite a few things to go tonight, uh, to get done tonight. I'm just going to start that whole intro over for when I clip this on YouTube. Because that was barely words. Oh, hello, man in a car. You go get him, tiger. Hey everyone, <laughs> good evening. <laughs> good evening. Welcome to our triumphant return to Yakuza Kiwami 2. We have a lot to get done tonight. I'm really happy to be back playing Yakuza. Uh, although it is going to be positively jarring. Going from a week full of Devil May Cry 5 and Sekiro Shadows Die Twice to Yakuza's combat. Uh, now, before we do anything else today, um, I really, we, we really have to explore the full depth to which Kiryu is just absolutely deeply asexual. Uh, and we're going to start by coming into the pornography store to procure some time with the pornography. And there's a reason for that. It's because I happen to wander in here all on my own for no reason. I'm hoping to just get a little bit of XP. Just, I need a little bit for something that I wanted to buy. Uh, and I watched this video titled, An Anteater Killed My Husband. Which we will now watch again. We won't watch it. Here you will. Hell yeah, Ace Cure you. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we all know deep down that he is uh, an asexual icon. But if you just need a little more. So this is a porno in which the premise is that there is a widow and a very serious man. And the widow's husband was killed by a giant anteater. And then they fuck. It's very erotic. And Kiryu, let's listen in on his analysis. This one was about the relationship between a widow and a young man. Seemed pretty forceful. That aside, do anteaters really kill people? Now, is this the synopsis of a man who wandered into a pornography store to jerk off to pornography because it sounds a lot like the analysis of a man who was fascinated by the idea that anteaters might kill people uh, and everything else was ancillary and very uninteresting uh, Rouge asks how is my recovery going uh, it's going really well uh, I was virtually in no pain uh, by the time that I left the hospital I've since finished my full course of antibiotics um, there's no real problems to be spoken of there I do have to do some follow ups I have to get a referral from my doctor and see a uh, GI specialist to get a colonoscopy and, and probably some additional panels done uh, because they don't actually know what the underlying cause of the hole in my in my intestines was, uh, which could be problematic. There could be a number of possible causes. The ones that they seem kind of convinced about, or not convinced about, but uh, the the main thing that they were sort of thinking that it could be uh, the the most likely suspect would be Crohn's disease. Uh, but they have to do the colonoscopy and... Oh, okay. Hi. Yeah, headbutt him! Good. Oh, shit! That's so good! The impact in this game is fucking sensational. Um, yeah, they have to do a colonoscopy and a few other things just to get a better idea. Uh, I was told that it could also just be a fluke, which... Oh, man, I could have done a heat move there. That one's less sensational. 
Um, it, yeah, I was told it also could just be a fluke. There might not actually be an underlying cause. Seems like you've been doing some boxers. Got his eye on you, looking for a sparring match. He's at the children. Oh, it's from Kamaki. Cool. Yeah, it's kind of... It's not the thing that you want a medical professional to tell you is that the abscess in your guts was caused via fluke. But then again, like, I guess that's fine. I guess that means that there's no uh, further cause for concern. But at the same time, it's like... You don't want the verbal equivalent of a shrug from your doctor. I'm going to hit up Conrad real quick before we uh, go to purgatory. Because I want some delicious, delicious food. And I think, I think, I think, I think, I am hungry again. 90 and, ah, uh, let's fight these dudes and then I will be nice and hungry for a good meal. Come on now. Come on, you big assholes. Yes! Ah. Oh, and we're gonna get some some uh, good heat moves. Some double teams. Yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's not quite the one I wanted, though. It's the only problem. Oh, I didn't block that in time. Oh, fine. Oh, come on, don't end this before I get to dropkick him. I was playing an hour ago just to get myself reacclimated to the controls, and that is how I ended up beating Kamaki in our sparring match. I had a pixel of health left, and I drop kicked right over a sweep that he was doing. And that was the finishing blow. It it fucking rocked. It was so good. Best of luck navigating the American healthcare system with an uncertain condition. Uh, it actually hasn't been too bad because I actually have a pretty good insurance policy. Um, the only problem is just the back and forth of, I went to my doctor, oh fuck, what am I doing? I went to my doctor um, for a referral. I didn't have a specialist in mind at the time. And was told, like, okay, go look into it and just call me when you actually have someone and I'll just take care of getting the referral done over the phone. Let me fight these dudes, too. Just to, just for the, the workout, just so I can uh, get my hunger down. Oh! Oh! I haven't seen that one before. Oh, why do these all take so much ass? Keep kick him while he's down. Uh, yeah, so I kind of just made this whole appointment for nothing. Uh, I came home, started looking into doctors, and now it's going to take like a week to get this referral done. I have packs to go to next weekend, uh, and then the week after I get home from PAX, I'm going to be going to Wales to see Arth for 10 days. Uh, so I'm going to have to schedule this colonoscopy for sometime in, like, late April. Because I get home from Wales on, like, the... When is it? I'm going the 8th to the... Oh, the 16th, so, like, mid-April. Okay, I can get a little bit. What am I prioritizing? This one, definitely. What's the one that gives me 40 of the agility? I know there's one of them. There it is. This is pretty filling. Nice and hearty. I've also just been wandering around inside a lot of the restaurants and bars around Camarocho, and it is... There is a special kind of attention to detail in making them all so distinct from one another and conveying different ambiances that is, like, it is... Like everything else in this game, almost pornographic in the level of detail. There's a contextual heat move if you're higher than the enemy. Yeah, that's why I was figuring it is. It was just like um, based on higher elevation. 
Kiryu broke his neck on the curb. Wait till you see the new gun heat move I picked up if you want murder. Like, I think we can just look at it in the preview. Uh, yeah. He actions. It's just the essence of seizing for the firearm. He disarms them and then shoots them, like, in the stomach. They'll die. They'll bleed out. They, or they won't even bleed out. They'll go into septic shock. But it, it goes so far to placing you inside of Camarocho, to making it feel alive and real and not just having every interior be the exact same location. Like, there's so much personality and liveliness and identity in Camarocho. God, I, it feels really good to be back to streaming. I... I had to take like quite a bit off just for recovery and then that period when I was in the hospital. Plus, then my sleep schedule went upside down and you all know about my non-24 hour sleep wake uh, uh, disorder. Okay, Tamara. Yep. Wrong bathroom. It's this way. Oh, yeah, Kaoru doesn't know about Purgatory and Camarocho's whole sewer society. Yeah, until, yeah, I think that's always really appealed to me about uh, games like this is how much you're able to miss. And having a real sense of discovery. And that's why so many other open world games, I think, that are, are just garbage. Because they are they feel like vast open wastelands. And even if you don't explore like 80% of the map in those, it doesn't really feel like you've missed very much. Whereas something like Yakuza Kiwami 2 or uh, any of the Souls games... You're constantly finding new stuff. There's this ever-present, ubiquitous sense of, of discovery. They're the kind of games that you can just play and be lost in. Just sublimate into. It's really lovely. <laughs> Look how beautiful this sewer palace is. <laughs> it's ridiculous, man. <laughs> Every single time Purgatory shows up. I think this is one of the best looking iterations. This is a, they're, These are lights, right? Yeah. But when they scatter across the ground like this, they create this really cool cherry blossom effect. Holy shit. <laughs> you also still get the arena. Yeah, I've been needing that. Because I sort of just want to grind up a lot of uh, a lot of XP so I can get new heat moves and stuff. And I generally don't mind that grind in Yakuza. It's actually kind of relaxing in this in this series. God, I wish I were living in a Japanese sewer palace. What a mood, I tell ya. Hi! What a mood. <laughs> Fist of the North Star does have a literal vast open wasteland outside of Eden, but it's post-apocalyptic and still fun. Yeah, but that's not what I mean. I mean, it's... I'm talking more about depth and detail. And meaningful content. 
Ah, <laughs> oh, hey, it's our boy. I knew he was coming when the uh, construction worker showed up. Because I know there's some kind of Majima, uh, Majima construction company in this. Yep. 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 President of Majima Construction. Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly, Atolia. Maps are, are sprawling, but so many of them are devoid of anything that justifies the size. I think especially the Ubisoft open world games are so guilty of this. It's, there's there's so much square footage, but so little actually contained within that means anything that's worth seeing or worth doing. It's a lot of filler. And that's why I never get excited, and in fact, I get really skeptical and almost cynical when an open world game is announced and one of their big talking points is, oh, this is our, this, this is 20% larger than our last open world. Like, that's a meaningless number. It's, in fact, pretty worrying when it's like, okay, it's 20% larger. But does that also mean it's going to be 20% more barren? Is there any reason for it to be bigger? Does it need to be bigger? Or is it just a bullet point on the back of the box? Oh, that's his. That's Camarocho Hills. Ah. That's why it's been, like, a real relief to go through the Yakuza series and see, like, Kamurocho has not substantially expanded in any of the games. There have been little additions here and there, and most of, like, most of the ways in which Kamurocho has gotten bigger is just more interior environments. But then you also sometimes get side cities, uh, like Osaka in 6, or Sotenbori in this one in 0. But they're still not sprawling, they're not huge, they're very compact. And there's always so much to do, and so much that's actually fun to do, that's not just like busy work. Oh wow, this is a real sign of contrition and humility. それならまさか。せや、トーナメントや。で、引き受けるけ。あ、ですね、ビアイントロダクションとアビアリーナ。すぐに終わる。先にセレナに戻って。No、fuck Oh yeah, the florist! He's up in the Millennium Tower. 50th floor. Oh man, it should be like a... What is it called? Heaven's Arena? In uh, in, in Hunter x Hunter. Where you have to fight your way up the Millennium Tower. Oh, Yakuza with Nen users. <laughs> Let me... Uh, Three of my best, one after the other. Okay, I, I figured there would be more to it. Uh. <laughs> I remember sitting in my living room playing GTA 4 and just being dismayed that I couldn't really go inside anywhere. There was such a vast map, but the fact that there was no real interior spaces made it feel so superficial. 
yeah, GTA 4 in, in a lot of ways was a real disappointment. I mean, I wasn't the biggest fan of Vice City, but even then it was a step down from that. GTA 3 is always going to be, like, one of my favorite games of all time. Just for the fire truck physics alone. <laughs> It became increasingly disappointing uh, with every entry that they just turn, uh, they toned down the collision physics from the fire trucks. Because in three, you could send cars slingshotting across the street. By five, though, it's like uh, they barely budge, and it sucks. Yeah, so this dude is... Okay. Look at the swagger on this man. That's the swagger of a man who knows he's fighting someone who is barehanded, but he has an axe. Holy shit. Oh shit, my back step is still not that good. Whoop. Yeah. Holy shit, man. Let's see if I can disarm him. Oh god, that didn't even knock him down. That's what I needed to be doing against that guy. Was just running away more instead of trying to block or sidestep the axe. This guy is from a 2D side scrolling beat him up. Yeah, he's probably from like uh, uh from Golden Axe. I mean not literally, but you know what I mean. Oh, it's this guy who greeted us. Can't disarm guys like him, the weapons part of the model. They'll get weapon counters, but not disarms. This man just posing. Oh! Oh! Shit! Gary Buster Holmes? What?! This is goddamn ridiculous. Come on now. Oh, I can equip weapons if I want. Which I do. I do want. Same one again? Yeah. Holy Jesus! So we had uh, a golden axe guy. We had someone who may as well have been out of God Hand. He has his own entrance theme. Oh wait, there was a yeah. That's one of the god the uh, the trio. 
there actually was a dude like that in uh in God Hand. I forgot. He's one of the, the trio bosses. <laughs> so he says that's the ideal man. You may not like it, but that's what peak performance looks like. Holy shit, he loves it so much. I do hope items are available. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm gonna need some of that. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> oh my god, my flamethrower. Yes, good. Set him on fire. This is fair. Aw, oh, damn it. Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> oh my god, it's my secret technique. Oh shit, this! Oh! So good. I'm trying to armor through that. With the drop kick. Oh, I'm not having luck with it though. Oh. There we go. Oh yeah, it's electrified for some reason. It's the Thunder Dagger. Feel the heat! I stabbed him with the Thunder Dagger so hard that I felt the heat. Holy shit, what a fight. さすがキルチェ。相変わらずごっついな。約束だ。登場会に戻ってきて。まあ、祝いの酒でも飲みながらゆっくり話すよ。Here you it really is using Nen now. It's just a flamethrower though. Man, this talk about Nen's making me want to rewatch uh, uh Chimera Ants. I like Hunter X Hunter, but I love the Chimera Ant arc. That is anime at its best. 
I had decades of hype leading up to the first time that that I had ever seen the Chimera Anarch, and I was still floored. It still exceeded expectations. God damn, it's so good. Boy. Ooh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh? Mm. Hmm. Ooh. Is this how we unlock this mini game? Uh -huh. mm. Shindo is starting to split the Nishikiyama family off from the clan. Good! Ooh. Excise them! They suck! Oh god, that's... Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> the Omi Cap Dorada. Hmm? Okay, so when Dorada took the reins, the Omi actually stopped making trouble for the Tojo. We were making trouble for them. Mm. Huh. It was go real power play, and maybe it's legit. Huh. Toronto didn't make enough waves to warrant a hit. Mm. God, it's throwing me off. They still sitting in this chair, talking business in the construction helmet. Like, he's just sitting here with his hard hat on. Like, yeah! You know, this is... Oh. It's so silly. But then again, so is everything about Majima. Terada Oh yeah, I forgot Majima gets a mini-campaign in this game. I mean, Hashiwagi got signed line as soon as he took over. Yeah, Tell, yeah, that's kind of what Gon needs, especially... Like, he could have gone. He could have taken all this time off after losing his Nen. That would have been a perfect opportunity for him to just chill out, go and see a therapist, because that little dude needs it. Ah, what a nice visual metaphor. It was a koi, right? Oh, I say this every time I play Yakuza is the, the faces are incredible. And part of what makes them so incredible is that they are willing to portray imperfection. Creases and wrinkles and big old pores. And just like unsmooth skin. Just paunchiness. They look like real people. Hell yeah. Oh, 
何か策はあるのか決まっとるやろ片っ端からぶん殴るだけじゃヌーニシだパンチャマンデッなら俺も手伝うぜキリュウちゃんもああやったキリュウさんがいれば百人力ですよよかったっすね親父いやあかんえこれはうちが仕掛けられた喧嘩や関係ないキリュウちゃんは手出し無用やで,<笑>でもうるさいわとにかく手出し無用って言うたら無用なんじゃそれとも何かわしらだけじゃ奴らを倒せるとか言うか But he's so strong Why can't he help us boss? He's so powerful 事情は分かっただがそれでも俺は手伝わせてもらうぜ Epic, Kiryu would never break all your teeth. He's too gentle and kind. And also kind of the worst Yakuza there's ever been. In that he's too soft and gentle and nice to be a Yakuza. And he hates crime so much. Like he hates crime. He's like Jorno in, in part five of JoJo's. Except he doesn't want anything to do with this criminal organization. He doesn't want to climb to the rank of, of chairman so he can tell them not to do crime anymore. <laughs> He was the chairman of the Tojo for like five seconds and then he quit. He doesn't want to be a gang star. Wait, didn't that also happen in Zero Demon? Where he was like, man, I don't like getting all this protection money, despite it being his job? Oh my god. Wait, is that what this minigame is? Kiryu hates crime as much as Paul Manafort loves crime. And it's a fucking lot. Rouge, Majima and Kiryu would never kiss because Kiryu is an asexual. He is an ace icon. I just saw Mr. Shakedown. One of those people is Mr. Shakedown. <laughs> This is the most Looney Tunes ass shit. Let me find out that this is the basis for the gang minigame in uh, Yakuza 6. It's not gonna be, it's just gonna be a big free for all. But still, wait! Oh my god, it is! It totally is! <laughs> okay, this is 14 pages, huh? My battle is a large scale based defense uh, fights. Command your crew and protect HQ. Gather and train employees. <laughs> Defeat all enemies before your equipment's destroyed. Enemy status shows wave number. Holy shit, dude. Cash, unit status, skills. Select a unit and press X to move them. Units will always move towards your cursor. Select a unit and press triangle to raise their spirit. When a unit's spirit goes up, their abilities increase and they fully recover. 
Must spend cash to raise spirit. Can raise the unit's spirit up to level 5, a number that can be checked in the spirit meter. <laughs> you can use any of the directional buttons in battle to activate a skill, which skills you have available to you depend on the four leftmost members in your defense squad lineup. Using skills spends cash, so be sure to plan ahead and use skills only at the most opportune moments. There are four unit types, each with their own unique characteristics. Each type has its own icon, balanced, attack, defense, support. Uh, okay. Check their spot, their, the spot they're assigned to. Okay. Different enemy types have different characteristics. Brawlers are low health, decent all around stats. There's gunners, grenadiers, heavies, uh, batters. Ignores your units and targets equipment. Rocketeer ignores your units and targets equipment from long range. Bosses may appear over the course of a battle. All these foes are especially power as these foes are especially powerful, you should send multiple units to bring them down. Special attacks on strong enemies have the ability to use specials. Okay, be careful when you see a red aura around a boss. Hold. Burn or paralysis damage. Items will appear, remove your units over them to pick them up. Kiwami drinks, stamina and boxes, cash. Okie dokie. Successfully rebuking the enemy will earn you a defense bonus. How much cash you earn depends on the kind of defense bonus you achieve. Remaining equipment, equipment durability, time spent, cash conservation, based on how much cash you have left at the end of the battle. Essence of good luck. Based on your use of the skill Essence of Good Luck. Uh, clear bonus, S ranks, based on how many times you earned an S rank defense bonus. Okay. President's Awards! Based on how you perform in a mission, you will earn President's Awards, which can be used in Clan Creator menu to strengthen your units. Okay. Keep units alive. Units who run out of health and cannot return to battle. You will be at a great disadvantage of all your units. Be sure to raise your spirits, obtain items, and use skills. Cash is used to raise spirits and then to make sure you collect as much as possible. The enemies to earn cash. Earn defense bonuses for keeping your shit safe. Use skills to increase cash flow. God. Okay. Um. Snaps is it's like nearby. Um. Okay, that's how we do you. Oh, okay, sure, I guess. There are 20 punks left. Move this unit. Oh god, I have to do this all individually and micromanage them, huh? Oh, fuck me. Go! Fight! Enemies were defeated. And there are gonna be multiple choke points. I would assume. Yes, good. Holy shit, the D-pad. What is happening over here on this D-pad? Oh! Shit! You! Uh, uh, intercept them. Intercept these fools. What are you doing, sir? Okay, good. We're doing it. We're doing great somehow. Guessing you're gonna split off, right? So you two... Go to intercept them here. Are you... Oh, you're all just charging, huh? Essence of explosives. Okay, so that's what that's all about. Great. It's L2? What is this all about? And the cash that I get for this. Oh, okay, so I can see the skills themselves a little bit better. Oh, God. Bitches. Sons of bitches. All of you. Get out of here. 
No! Okay, you're gonna run... While they fight... You're gonna run and collect all the shit. Okay? Which way are you going? Oh, you're going over here. Snap to equipment. Oh! Increase cursor speed. Oh shit. Um, 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 how? How do I do the thing? No, that's Dragon Twister. The spirit. How does one... Oh, fuck. Um... Um... Oh, damn it. Double team this man. Essence of Onslaught. And explode him. Yeah. Turf secured. I... That was a lot. Oh my god, I love this so much. Great. I adore this series. Oh my god. Oh my god. What a special series. No way, I love this minigame, actually. This kicks ass. Oh. Wow, that's not a lot of XP, huh? Five across the board? Wow. Okay. okay. I'm so excited about Yakuza 7 now. With the new protagonist. I hope he is anywhere near as good as Kiryu. Because Kiryu really is an understated but incredible character. Yeah, I'm guessing the the way to grind out XP is just through the arena, right? Who the motherfucker these people? Keiji Muto. What the fuck? Is this Japanese real estate Guy Fieri? More New Japan people? I do not... Oh wait, Muto. Yeah, okay, I recognize the name. Who's the other one? Masahiro Chono. Leader of the Color Gangs. No, I do not recognize his name. It's just Rainmaker's coat. It's not. It's, it really isn't. It's not flashy enough to be Okada's. Every time you play a Yakuza game on stream, I get so excited for you to play the entire series on stream. Like, I know you've already beaten 6, but I really want to see you do it on stream. I'll probably replay 6.
That's a ways away, though. We still have the end of Kawami 2, along with 3, 4, and 5. Still ahead of us. I don't know if I'm a... I, I'm not that interested in the Fist of the North Star game, to be honest. I might stream it. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, Judgment, too. Oh, I should stream Judgment, shouldn't I? There is a... Hmm, there's kind of a small chance that I might LP Judgment. I don't think I'm gonna. I'll probably stream that one. Just kick their asses right here and right now. I hate his stupid camo jacket. No, I'll probably play Judgment in Japanese. It, it seems right. Although for the Sekiro LP, I'm getting a lot of feedback, and I'm thinking that I'm probably going to switch that one over to the English voiceovers. すまんのけるじゃ。面倒なことに巻き込んでしもて。兄さんには世話になってるんだ。これくらい。お安い御用さ。あんな連中に昼漬け計画の邪魔させねえ。帰り討ちにしてやろうぜ。そうやな。なん
そんなやつが建設会社なんかやってんのか人生いろいろだな It's a, おい It's a proper noun <笑>そしてそのまじまのそ V capital T empty capital E lot capital L 登場会四代目会長道島の竜と言われた伝説の極度です気流どうした天竜いやなんでもね要はその気流ってのとまじまってのが手に負えないから俺たちになんとかしてくれってことかさすが長州さんその通りですこいつらをぶっ倒してカムロ町ヒルズ計画を奪い取るヒルズは金のなる気報酬はいくらでも出させてもらいますお願いできませんかね48 Trillion yen. Karina and the mayor. So they got in all stars that are not. Also known as eighteen dollars. Yet more, Kinarjina. It's your remo. Do I want to invite the road to go? Hey, remember your friend is literally buried under the Millennium Tower when the empty lot was. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Oh, so many dragons. The Revolution Warrior. Anime title. そうなのかまあなだがキリがいるってんなら話は別だその話乗らせてもらうぜ<笑>決まりですねよしそれじゃあ地上げ三重師の皆さんよろしくお願いします一番先にヒルズ計画を奪い取ってくれた方に報酬を差し上げます兵隊はうちのギャングチームの連中を好きに使ってくれて構いませんいい結果を期待してます His sunglasses really bother me <笑>誰に向かって言ってんだ俺が失敗するわけねえだろう早速準備しねえとな Like the brand in the lower right of the left hand sunglass Throws the symmetry off. It makes it look kind of dumb and tacky. Oh, it sucks. Because that's a look otherwise. That's a good look. I am surprised it was not a chapter ending. There it is. The sunglasses look like they took them directly out of Yakuza 2. This is it. Oh, oh, you mean the, the original? Actually, I should be ready to eat again. Yeah, this is the best place nearby. This place, Jackson. There was one really good place. I can't remember what it was. Some high end fancy place. Was it Bantam? Uh, I'm not sure. I have to recenter myself. I'll just pop in here. Oh, okay, delinquents. You're gonna chase me in here? Where I eat? Good luck. Whoa! Would you like to try again? Oh, you would, huh? Please, come closer. I'm going to hit you with my fists.
<laughs> that was a little janky. What with the teleporting? Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry about your windows. Oh, he's a he doesn't like it. <laughs> I like exiting through the automatic door instead of the hole that I made. <laughs> uh, it's very good. Anyway, I will see myself out. Good lord. Ah, oh, burger place. Oh, you're not even going to be able to film me all the Oh, hell yeah, you are. Damn. This gives me, like, shit for XP. Now, I'm going to find somewhere else to eat. So help me God. There has to be one decent restaurant around here. Can I pull up, like, Yakuza Yelp? Why isn't that a thing? That is not the entrance. Oh. Are you gonna make me eat off the street here, sir? Fine. Yeah, I'll have this, because this is 26 of the agility. Now I'm gonna look for another place to eat. Cause I, I'm still hungry. Up here. Is this the place I just... Oh wait, this is different... This is the inside? This is a different menu? Oh, it totally is. Ah. Damn, I really need Yakuza Yell. Need like, give me this fine dining experience I crave. Cafe Alps. Come on, give it to me. Give me this fine dining I crave. I need this XP. I want it so bad. Give unto me your fine food. Not this place. What you got, sir? Damn it. Damn it. Okay, that's fine. We can work with this. Ah, we'll work with it. Whatever. Yeah, now this is good. Hold on. Oh, I should have gone to the sushi place oh on the southern part of the map. Anything traditional, Japanese, uh, and filling is XP. Silver, you are not the only person who feels that way, I'm sure. Oh, I got bonuses. Forgot those were a thing. Uh, man, if I had the money, I'd totally get to do a food tour in Japan. Yeah, I think we all would. Or a food tour anywhere, really. hate crime, but I love shoving people. Feels so good. What the hell? Stop evading my grab, sir. There you go. Ah, that's what I love. Where's my disarm for you? Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wonder what the context has to be to disarm the knife guy with that heat move. Ooh! Ooh! I didn't know I could do that. Let me try that again. 
Oh my god, I never knew that that move existed. Oh, I want to do that again. Oh, that's the end with the drop kick. That's okay. Oh, and there's a sub story here. Got your homeless all over. Aww. Oh, I'm gonna beat the shit out of them. This is great. I love beating up abusive thugs. How are you gonna shake down a homeless dude for money? You don't seem bright, hostile thugs. Yes, Airbean. Only two, huh? Wow. God, it's like a Liu Kang bicycle kick that ends in an axe kick. <laughs> Literally kicked his ass all over the street. Kipped him like a rock on a lake. Thank you, Rouge. Yeah. I will never get tired of that running away animation. It's so defeated. It's so perfect. Took you somewhere I think you'd like. Hi. Oh. Okay. Mm. So you're just gonna rickshaw me to a mysterious place. Why do I feel like this is the setup to a mugging? Yeah, it's a light, defeated jog away. Exactly. It makes me giggle every single time I see it, which is so frequently, especially in the sub stories. <laughs> Here we are, the turtle treat you all right? People are just jealous of your sweet ride. He's not even sleeping, he's posing. He's posing for a photo. Welcome to the Dragon Palace. A lot of dragons. This is the casino slash black market part. Oh. He kind of looks like um, Daigo Umahara. This is just like a real dingy casino. After Purgatory got cleared out uh, out of West Park, we all congregated here. Nah, Purgatory's still there. I was just there, man. You just gotta look harder, I think. Uh, Koi Koi. Oichio, Kabu, Fuzz don't suspect a thing. Oh, cool. Hi. 
There are like four floors. One is a substory guy who joins the arena if you fight him enough. There's a weapons dealer, another, and then this casino. Oh. Well, I don't know how to play Koi Koi or the other game, so... And I have no points, so bye. What are wooden tags? Oh no, I remember what these are all about. Okay, bye. Oh, cool. Found a locker key. And then is this all explorable? Oh no. I'm gonna get up out of here. Oh no, this. Do I get off on the first? Yes, good. <laughs> it's about to be trapped in there forever. Uh, I think that's going to do it for tonight. Uh, let's see, is there going to be any Yakuza stream next week? I don't know, because I'm not going to be streaming Thursday, because that's the day I leave for PAX East. Am I streaming the Thursday after I get home? Yeah, there will be another one the week after that. Uh, and there's going to be a Tuesday stream next week. I'm I don't know if I'll do Yakuza on Tuesday next week. I think I'm going to start Metro uh, Metro Exodus on Tuesday. Uh, either way, thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good night, y'all.